Hey everybody, Kneecap here. A uh, video for the new Danger Boss, uh, Danger Captain Dargoon in Stormheim. So you're going to fly to Valastal. It will be the closest flight path in Stormheim. Uh, you don't have to jump down to your death like I did, but that's just the way I chose to go. Uh, you're basically going to where the uh, Helheim portal is. If you leveled here at all, you probably did the quest or you had to go down into Helheim and get Helia to release you and all that. So that's where we're headed, and I'll kind of show you how to get there real quick. Basically, you're just heading towards the front of that building on the map. You'll see two big rock faces there, and you just need to go in between the two of them. And then you just need to go straight down and through the portal. This, of course, is basically the same setup for the Trial of Valor raid as well. Um, as you're on your way to Guarm and eventually Helia. I wanted to make sure real quick that he wasn't up and not through the portal, so I had to check that out real quick. But my suspicions were correct, and it is through the portal. One thing I noticed about this boss is that it was a little bit buggy um, as far as you had to pretty much tank him where he was at. Uh, it, if he got pulled by a DPS or let's say a tank goes down and then range DPS has threat, it could very easily reset him. I don't know if it's because he's on the dock or what the exact reason is, but I do know that he's very easily reset. So you're going to want to make sure that either you have tanks that are just keeping them in place or that uh, you're not, you're doing what you can. If you pull threat, don't run away. Just kind of stay on the dock. Even, you'll see him reset multiple times as an example. But uh, I'm going to kind of go over his abilities as well. He's going to basically have, uh, if you remember in Maw of Souls, the bigger uh, mobs have the defiant strike which is they kind of swing their blade and just hit everything in their way so usually melee and tanks he's basically gonna have the same thing except for it's called bold strike and you just don't want to stand in that and at the very end of it he's gonna smash his sword down straight down um, after swinging his blade wildly so you just want to get out of his way during that he's gonna have two missed abilities one is interruptible and it was actually interrupted every time, so I don't know exactly what it does. And the other missed ability is going to target random um, players in the encounter and put like mist around their feet, and you just have to walk out of that. So it's, if you don't stand in the mist, you don't stand in the bold strike, and you interrupt these other mists, then you will pretty much not have to worry about anything. And if you have a tank, then only the tank should be taking any damage whatsoever so it's pretty easy um, I would assume that a geared tank could probably solo this as long as he was able to run out of the bold strike and he didn't have people keep resetting him <laughs> so finally I think they got got it figured out that they couldn't be pulling him back to the front of the dock and so now we'll just simply kill him You should be able to see, I think it's a Death Knight tanking, and he pretty much doesn't take any damage. There is one healer here, <clears throat> but it doesn't seem to even really need it. This is Bold Strike coming right at me. There's the mist that you can interrupt. It's interrupted again. Now he's going to put the mist. You can see the mist start to gather. It's now that we're not resetting him. There's mist all over the ground. That bold strike coming right at me again. Basically, you just have to kill him before the mist fills up the whole room. If you were soloing as a tank, I imagine it wouldn't ever uh, fill up that quickly. 
But yeah, that's that's Captain Dargoon. Pretty easy once you stop resetting him. Uh, beware of his abilities. Uh, thumbs up and sub, and everyone have a good one.